Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti from AnthonyMorganti.com. This is episode four of Photoshop Quick Tips. In this episode, I'm going to show you how to blend two images. Now, I might be pushing this Quick Tips format a little bit by showing you how to do this because it is a multi-step process, but it is very, very easy. So that's why I decided to show it in a Quick Tips video. What we're going to do is we're going to take this image of the bride and groom. And we're going to blend in this image of their wedding bands. Now, there's all different ways you could do this. So I'm not saying that this is the only way you could do this in Photoshop. This is just one way you could do it. Now, this, of course, is very popular with wedding photographers. It's also popular with lifestyle photographers and, you know, senior portraits, things like that. All right. So what we're going to do, we're going to start with this image here. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to get a bigger workspace or kind of a, um, a bigger palette for the images to sit upon. So what we're going to do first is we're going to unlock this background layer. So by, we're just going to click on this uh, padlock right here. So now it's just a normal layer. And I want to put a layer under it. So I'm going to you could just click down here and click a new layer icon and then drag it underneath. But a quicker way is to hold the command or control key in and click on it and it will automatically go underneath the layer that is active. And, you know, I'm all about in Photoshop is, is doing things as quickly as possible because I really rather take pictures than process pictures. All right, so we have this layer under here. Now I need this bigger palette to work on. So what we're going to do is we're going to go up here to image and we're going to go to canvas size. So we're going to make a bigger canvas. So um, it's showing in inches now. I would prefer pixels and it's showing that the width of this pixel is 4200 and or the width of the image is 4200 pixels and the height is 2800 pixels. So I'm going to make the width double. So I'm going to go to 8400 pixels and I'm going to make the height around 3500. Now this is totally arbitrary. You could do this any way you like. Uh, you, it's all, you know, this is part of the creative process for you to make this yours. So I'm going to make a pretty big canvas here for these images to sit upon. So I'm going to click OK. All right, so we have this larger canvas now. Now I'm going to hit Command-0 so we could see everything. So you could see how it's pretty large. I'm going to go back up on my top layer, which is now the, it's layer 0, but that's you know just an arbitrary name. And I'm on the Move tool, so I could actually move this around now. See how it's going to move on this canvas. Now, what I want to do, though, is before I go any further, I want to color in this background layer. It's just this layer here that's called layer one. I want to color that in. So I'm going to get a brush tool, first of all, by hitting B. And why I'm doing that is I'm not going to brush or anything, but when you hold the Alt or Option key in, it's Alt if you have a PC, Option if you have a Mac, you get this little eyedropper and I could sample a color. And I'm going to sample this um, color of this water right here. And it's right here in the foreground. Now I could go up to Edit, Fill, and then I want to fill that layer with the foreground color. That foreground color, click OK. All right, so now I have that filled in. Now, we're going to go back to the Move tool. We're going to go to the image of our wedding bands. We're going to move this to the other image. So we're just going to grab it by clicking down on the left mouse button and just drag it over here and drop it right on. All right, so now we have this image of the wedding bands, and we have the image of the bride and groom. Now, I want to blend it. You can see we have this kind of hard edge here. Don't really want that at all. We want to blend it so it looks nice. And the way we're going to do that is use masks and the gradient tool. Now, again, there's all different ways you could do this. This is the way I'm going to do it with this uh, set of images. So. What we're going to do first is we're going to add layer mask to both of these top two layers. So the layer mask icons right there, we'll click there. So we added the layer mask there and we're going to add the layer mask there. So we're going to start with the rings, which is the top layer. And what we're going to do is, oh no, the rings are this layer. So we're going to start with the rings, which is that layer. And we're going to get that gradient tool by hitting G on the keyboard and that brings us to the gradient tool. 
Now, what we want to do is we want to use the gradient that is black to white, or if you're looking at it the other way, white to black. And if you just hover over these uh, little um, postage stamp size samples of the gradient, you can see that it's this third one over. So we want that black to white, all right? Now, what we want to do is we want to make sure we're on the layer mask. Don't do it on the image. We're going to do it on this mask. And those of you that might not be familiar with layer mask, white reveals and black conceals. So in this instance, because we're using a gradient, it's going to go from black to gray to lighter gray to white. So the grays will let varying amounts of the layer show through. And the black is going to hide everything. The white will let the entire layer show through. All right, so we're on, um, well, we'll do it with the top layer first. We'll go to the top one, and we're going to click on this layer mask. Because I'm doing that only because it's a little easier to see. So we're on this layer. And what we want to do to apply this gradient is we want to come in just to the edge of the image and just draw a straight line inwards towards the couple like that. Now you can see we have this kind of gradient. It doesn't look that great yet, but we're going to work on it. Now we're going to go down to the other layer and click on that layer mask. And we're going to go just inside of that image. And we're going to draw in. And I think we'll draw in a little further this time. And now you can see we have this kind of um, gradient going from the one image to the other image. Now. Yeah, it doesn't look that great. So we need to adjust it a little. Now, as it is now, if we get the move tool and I want to move the rings around, you can see this little chain link here. It's attached. This mask is attached to the rings. So I can move it and it will move like with the rings and stuff. So that's kind of cool. So we're going to move that in a little bit. Then we're going to go up to the top one and we're going to move that a little bit. Maybe like in. Uh, something like that. Okay, I moved it so far, but it kind of lost some of our mask. So we want to move the mask a little bit. So I'm going to move them in a little even more. So we want to move this mask independently of the image itself. To do that, we have to unlink them. And to unlink them, all we have to do is click on that little chain link. Now we could move one independent of the other. Now we're clicked on the mask, so I'm just going to grab it and move the mask. You see I can move it. And I'm not moving the image this time, so I'm moving the mask. And maybe like that. Then we could go on this one, and I could remove that a little more. And then you could play around. Now if you want to reapply that link to this uh, group of image and mask, just click again where that link should be, and you'll put the link back. All right. So. What we're going to do is I'm going to unlink both, just for now. I'm going to go down to this mask, which is the mask with the rings, and I'm going to move that around a little bit. I want it a little more like that, a little more fading in. And with that one, I want that one a little more fading in without the line, though, kind of like that. I'm going to reapply the links and just move them around until I kind of like it. Maybe like that. So this is how we blend the images by with these masks and with these um, uh, links. You could move the mask independently or move it with the image. Another thing you could do is you could adjust the mask itself by double clicking on the mask and you'll get this properties dialog box to come up. And with this slider, we could change the density of the mask. You can see how we're making it like more, uh, you know, sharp, not as, it's not as dense, so it's lighter. And this, we could adjust the feather and make it more feathered. Now, these are pretty feathered already, but we could feather it a little more like that on that one. And then maybe come down to this one, double click on that mask, and maybe increase the feathering of that one also. And then we're done. So that's it. And now now I should say, if you want to, before we actually say we're finished, we could move this around uh, together. So I'm clicked on layer two. 
Hold the Command or Control key in and click on Layer 0, and they're both selected. So it's Command if you have a Mac, Control if you have a PC, and you could move this entire thing around if you want, like that. You could then go to the Crop tool if you so choose, and you could crop this entire thing if you want. Maybe something like that. And then click this little checkbox, and you're all set. So that is how you would blend two images. Now, again, I know I probably pressed this envelope a little bit about putting this in a quick tips video, but that is pretty much one of the best ways to do it, I will call it, all right, by using the gradient tool. And um, that's it. I really do appreciate everyone watching my videos. Thank you very much. I'd like to thank the gentleman that emailed me asking me to do this video. Uh, thank you very much for the idea. And uh, that's it. I'll talk to you guys soon.